<clears throat> so Jamal Hill versus Yuri Prohaska is targeted for the UFC 292 main event in Boston, also in August. And this is a great opportunity for the UFC to just really get back on having those stacked out of this world main event pay-per-view cards there just needs to be one of those cards again because right now i'm looking at the future pay-per-view cards and 29 is it is what it is at this point it's nunez versus aldana 290 is also looking pretty good and 21 we don't really know much about just yet but this is a great opportunity for them to just really put Jamal Hill versus Yuri Prohaska on the main card. Have Aljamain Sterling versus Sean O'Malley co-main eventing it. And for the future fight, we just had Hamzat Chemaev call out, my cat just something on my screen. Just had Hamzat Chemaev call out Usman. So put that as a future fight if you can get it done. Maybe have Cejudo versus Murab because he also called him out. And we have a really stacked main card, a really super stacked, ready to go main card for UFC 292. But forget about that for now. Right now we're focusing just on the main event alone. And I'm bringing you an early prediction for this. And so far I've come to the conclusion as of right now, I'm going to predict Jamal Hill to beat Yuri Prohaska. Now this pick really pains my heart. It really hurts my heart dearly inside because Yuri Prohaska is that kind of warrior that I love watching. He's literally a samurai warrior as a UFC fighter. In his past life, when he died, he was a samurai warrior and then he got reincarnated to be this Polish monster of a man today. His fights are always exciting, but I think he's going to meet a really bad stylistic matchup for himself in Jamal Hill. The thing is that Jamal Hill has different levels of power almost it feels like and Yuri is really prone to just getting hit we saw in his fight against Volkan Ozdemir he got rocked in that fight Dominic Reyes fight he got pretty much up kick KO'd luckily he landed on top of Dominic Reyes and was able to survive but he got rocked I think twice in that fight against Dominic Reyes and he's really prone to getting fight he got hit and dropped again by Glover Teixeira as well so Yuri Prohaska is really prone to being dropped and hurt in his fights and when it's Jamal Hill it's just different than the other guys. It's totally different because Glover isn't really gonna put you down and really TKO you like that. Volkan Ozdemir at the time was really, you know, kind of on his slide off of his prime. He's really, you know, falling off on his career. Dominic Reyes is, you know, so when it comes to Jamal Hill, he has, in my opinion, better striking than Glover, than Volkan and Dominic Reyes. And so playing this kill or be killed sort of game with him, can be a losing battle for Yuri Prohaska. It can be a very tough challenge for him to be able to eat Jamal Hill shots and then keep going. Cause when I watch Yuri, man, he really just leaves his head out there. Like he's there to be hit a lot of the time and he's willing to get hit in his fights. And it just scares me with somebody who has as much power as Jamal Hill does, be able to take advantage of Yuri, you know, trying to be able to stick his head out there, move really awkward with his feet, and then come up with weird looping shots when he comes off of a weird footwork angle. You know, he does all those kind of things. And I can just see Jamal Hill just catching him, just with a, with a jab or a left hook or a lead hook, just genuinely scares me thinking that Yuri's gonna be able to be as confident he is. And now for the big thing, the big question mark about Yuri is that his shoulder, he's coming off a tremendously horrific shoulder surgery when he initially announced it we thought he would never ever be the same again so there is a really big chance that yuri prohaska is not even the same guy anymore when he hops back in the octagon and when you're not even the same guy and you're finding a guy just as dangerous as jamal hill is you know there's no room for mistake and jamal hill can be beaten but not by how Yuri fights. Jamal Hill needs a kind of guy who can really pick at range, like a Magomed and Kaliev. I would pick a Magomed and Kaliev to beat Jamal Hill, but Yuri Pasca does not have that Magomed and Kaliev style because he's just too crazy in the octagon. He wants to do all this crazy Samurai warrior shit, like I mentioned before, and that might not fly with Jamal Hill. Now I'm tired of reiterating the same point over and over again, but it just, I can't really drill that enough that this is such a really bad, dangerous, stylistic matchup for him because Jamal Hill just fights different. Jamal Hill's only loss is to Paul Craig. And obviously, Yuri does not have that sort of jujitsu where he can just catch you in a, a triangle choke and then you know, snap your, dislocate your elbow and then land 
menacing elbows. So I don't see this fight even going on the ground at all. I don't see either guy shooting a takedown at all. Fury has the possibility of shooting a takedown. I can definitely see him shooting one after he gets rocked in the feet and just panic doing one. But other than that, it's gonna be solely on the feet and Yuri just might be too open. And eventually a chin has to crack, man. Yuri has taken a considerable amount of damage in his career so far. I've mentioned the three UFC fights he's already had where he's taken a lot of damage. But what I haven't mentioned is that he was KO'd out cold against King Mo back in Ryzen. Like he's taken some heavy damage in his career. And eventually that chin has to crack at some point. At some point in history, it has to crack and it can very well happen against Jamal Hill. And do I want to predict that? I kind of have to. I can really see Jamal Hill just piecing him up for, you know, a few rounds. And I can really see two outcomes for Jamal Hill's favor. I can either see him KOing Yuri in the first round, probably by TKO. He's probably going to rock him and then land some good ground and pound shots or some shots against the cage and then TKO Yuri. Or just completely do what he did to Glover and just continuously piece him up through five rounds. And for Yuri, I can see him kind of just going to war with Jamal Hill. I can see maybe a first round KO as well, but I more so, more realistically, what I see is a just just a flat out war between both these guys. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's what scares me. Because I think Jamal Hill will be able to push through. Because Jamal Hill, he's shown his heart. He's shown his toughness in the Octagon. I guess Thiago Santos. That fight was kind of wishy-washy, not going either way. And he was able to push through and get that TKO in the fourth. So Jamal Hill has good heart. As much, I would say as much heart as Yuri does in the Octagon. So I don't see Jamal Hill just quitting. You know, maybe maybe he's taking too much damage in a war and just quitting. It is what it is, man. Like, this could be a tit for tat. I don't know. It's an early prediction. I'm really worried for Yuri, but it's kind of what I have to predict for now. Hopefully his shoulder is okay. At the end of the day, man, the best thing for the UFC would probably be for Yuri to win just because of his fight style. It's just so exciting. And then they can eventually match him up with Adesanya to create a crazy big super fight for that and jamal hill i do like jamal hill don't get me wrong jamal hill is a super cool guy when i watch his interviews on air hawani and stuff like that he does seem like a really cool guy funny dude but he just wouldn't be as exciting he wouldn't bring that crazy excitement like a yuri adesanya would you know what i mean so that's what i have so far thank you guys for watching i appreciate it make sure you guys like and subscribe i will be streaming this saturday the ufc fight night card Almeida versus Rosenstrike or flipped it around, don't know. But I will be streaming that on Saturday, the whole entire card. So if you're tired of hearing Michael Bisping and his trash commentary, you can come watch me. I'll be there. Peace out.